Hey Coco Daisy friends. Um, today I wanted to talk with you a little bit uh, in depth about how I'm using the Dory booklet from Coco Daisy now that I am in strings. Um, a little bit of background, if you've looked at any of my previous uh, planner setup videos from gosh for the last year now, um, I've been using a ring planner, first personal wide and then a six. And in there, um, the rings that I was using were pretty large. And so it took a lot to fill the planner up. And so what I have always had in my planner is my daily plans, monthly calendar, um, trackers, uh, section for the photo challenges that I participate in, uh, bill paying section and an expenses section. And what I had in my ring planner was sections for all of those things. And then I would have like multiple pages in there, but just be using the top one. For example, um, the challenge, I would have like maybe nine or 10 um, pages in there, but just one page that was that month's challenge. I had a whole year's worth of inserts uh, for like bill tracking, but I was just using one page for that month's bills. So my planner was very full um, of, of pages that I wasn't using at that moment. I was just keeping the whole year's worth of pages in there. And then when I was done with a month, I would either put it in the back or just take it out. And then additionally, I had lots of dashboards and um, the vellums and acetates and all sorts of pretty things in there. And when, it, when I actually flipped through my planner, you know, I had, you know, this much stuff in there and I was using maybe six of the pages you know, daily. So um, once I decided to switch over to strings, I needed to figure out how I was going to put all of that same stuff in my planner. Cause I am, I am using uh, those things daily. Um, and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to have, you know, well, I mean, I could get a really big chunky notebook and do like seven or eight inserts, but I don't like to have a super chunky notebook. So this is my um, string notebook. It's a uh, Foxy Fix number six standard. It is a compact. So there are only four strings in it. Um, and I knew that I could only hold four things. And I thought, okay, so how am I going to streamline everything um, and get all the things in there that I need to use, but uh, not chunk it up? And what I came up with was uh, putting pretty much all of those things that I had talked about into the Coco Daisy Dory booklet. So uh, previously I had been using the front half of the Dory booklet only um, for daily gratitude. And I was um, writing down my gratitude uh, one space per day. I'll show you how the, I should probably show you how the Dory booklet is laid out in case you are unfamiliar. So there's a monthly calendar in the front um, and then one, uh, the line pages, and then you have this section of se gridded separated pages. This is a six size, by the way. And there are like five of these layouts. And so what I was using is for um, each section was a day and I was writing down before I went to bed, uh, gr daily gratitude, something I was grateful for that day. And then pretty much the rest of the book was going unused. Um, I couldn't figure out I wasn't using it for planning and I, because I had other planner pages and I wasn't using it for a calendar and I wasn't using it for the challenge. I had several separate printables for all that. And so this beautiful booklet was going mostly unused. And when I decided to go to strings, I thought, you know, maybe this is an opportunity for me to actually revamp the way that I use the Dory booklet and actually and actually use more of it. Um, so I'm sorry, I was showing you the door booklet and then I sort of stopped. So after the gridded pages in the front come a few pages that have just artwork and that are blank. This one, uh, this is the May booklet, by the way. Um, this one is blank. The, this page has got a dot grid on it. This page has lines and there's another blank page. And then you get to the second separated um, section here where it's just like the front section where it's divided, but this is a dot grid instead of a regular grid. And then you have, I think again, five pages of this 
and then there's one um, page in the back that's blank and then that's it. So when I decided to go to strings, I thought, okay, this is, I'm not going to have an insert for a calendar, an insert for plans, an insert for gratitude, an insert for challenges, an insert for bills, an insert for expenses. I'm not going to do that, an insert for tracker. Let me see if I can get it all in the booklet. And I did, and I'm feeling so much better now that I'm actually using the pages in the booklets and that I'm actually, it, it's not going to waste and I'm not having to put a lot of extra stuff by planner. So I just wanted to walk you through how I'm using this now. Um, this is, will be the second month um, that I'm using the Dory booklet like this and I'm really, really liking it. Um, so I just decorated the front because as you can see, it has the craft cover and I, I, um, inside the cover here, I made a pocket with the vellum that came in April's kits. Um, I just fold it, I folded it over, I cut it to size, I ran it through my laminator, and then I cut off the top to make a pocket, and then I just used, um, I used something round to just draw a line here, and then I just cut that with a craft knife. And this is where I keep my, uh, the note pages. So I'm down to two now, I think I had like 10 of them in there. I do use these frequently for grocery lists or what have you. Um, so I need to fill this back up, but this is a really handy place to have those notes. Um, the opening page is still the monthly calendar, uh, but this is too small for me to to actually use. I, it's more of a reference, like, you know, what's the 24th is a Wednesday, like I can tell you that, but I'm not going to write anything on here. I do have a printed, um, printable monthly uh, insert from a, a Etsy shop um, separately in my planner for that. Uh, last month I used this uh, lined page as my monthly. Um, I just numbered the lines 1 through 15, 16 through 31, and I was writing things down uh, that I knew what was coming up. And that actually worked really well. Here, I think I have my March. Here's my March insert with me. Um, this is what I did for my calendar last month. And it actually worked just fine. But the issue was if somebody wanted to say, hey, we're doing such and such on April 4th, are you available? I didn't have an April calendar to look at. For This was good for the current month planning, but not for future month planning. So I decided for April to go ahead and um, download and print uh, 12 months of a monthly calendar so that I could do some future planning. So right now this page is blank. Um, but starting on the gridded page, I am now doing my weekly plans here. So uh, I'm got a week on two pages, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend in one block. And uh, here's, uh, today's the seventh. So here's this week. And I've just got next week set up. And then every Sunday I sit down and just do the following week. And there will be the month of April daily plans. My next page one of those pages that um, was just blank or had artwork, this is now my tracker. And so I'm using the tabs to be able to find everything. I love tabs, so it's nice that I can still use my beloved tabs. Um, I decorated with one of the dashboards and some die cuts, and then I created this um, tracker in Excel. And I just kind of played around with the height and width of the rows and columns. And I printed, had to print out a couple of them until I got it right, that it would fit in here. And I just cut it out and glued it in. So this is my tracker for this month is now here. And, um, you know, I just typed in the things I wanted to track and I added some color to the days. The green ones are the weekends. And, you know, there you go. So this is uh, here in this booklet with me now instead of being on, in a separate page. After that is the uh, Coco Daisy photo, the planner challenge. So here are the, here's the principle that you can get from Coco Daisy site and it comes in different sizes. You can get it for personal A6, A5, standard, mini. So they, I just printed out the standard and cut it out and put it here. And I just decorated with a pocket card. So this was another one of those blank, you know, middle pages. Then on the lined page, I made this my bill section. So I have my bills that I pay at the beginning of the month, my bills that I pay in the middle of the month. I just decorated with a little bit of washi ribbon and I put the April um, card here so that I could kind of keep track of the month and where we are. And I can jot down you know, how much each one was and, and check it off when it's debited from my account. Uh, this page is blank right now. I'm not sure what, if anything, I'm gonna do there or here. 
But then in the back dotted section, I have, um, this is where I keep track of my expenses. So I use some stamps and numbered each section, just like I, I'm doing up in the front. This is a week, a whole week here on uh, two pages, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Actually, no, this is Saturday. So it's actually every section is a day. Um, and I just put some check boxes to list the things that I'm spending. I'm trying to be better about spending money willy nilly. Um, and so I have this all the way laid out until the end of the month. And I have, uh, it works perfectly because April has 30 days and there are 30 little sections. When I get to May and there are 30, there are 31 days, I'll just put 30 here and 31 there and it'll, it'll work out fine. And then I have one more blank page at the back that I haven't used and then the booklet is done. So I've got what? three, two or three spreads in here now that aren't being used versus the like half the booklet that wasn't being used. When I first saw the Dory booklet, I was like, okay, there's no, there's no days of the week. There's no, like, how are you supposed to use this for planning? But I really like the flexibility that it gives me to decorate the pages however I want, put numbers down, you know, like on this page, I used um, a lot of the stickers. These round stickers came from the memory keeping kit and, um, and then here I use some of the washi strips that also came in those stickers and the date dots. And I really like the flexibility of being able to sort of create my own layout every week. Um, I've also seen people split this into vertical columns and do like a, you know, morning, afternoon, evening kind of deal. So the booklet is actually quite versatile. And when you actually think about it, how am I going to get my stuff in here? I think it works out really, really well. So there you go, guys. This is how I use my Dory booklet now. And I'll go ahead and show you in the rest of the planner. So I have on the first string, here's the monthly uh, principle that I got. So I've got my 12 months. And what I do is if I need to, like here's April, if something's coming up in May that I need to write down, I just get a sticky note and put it on here. And then for May or June or what have you. And then when I go to sit down and actually decorate that month, I have you know, the things already written down and I can actually write them in. Um, I also have a plastic wallet insert with um, stamps and uh, credit cards and things like that in here. And then in the back, I have my memory keeping insert so that as, um, as ideas strike me for things to write down for memory keeping, I put them on a sticky note. And then when I have time, I go in and actually uh, do the layouts. And here, by the way, is where I have moved my daily gratitude. So now the first three pages of the, um, of the simple Dory are my gratitude pages. So I leave, I always leave the first, second, and third pages free. Um, I can show you, I think I have my finished one from March, what that ended up looking like. So um, this was one through 11 and then through 31. Um, and then I have like my March goals and things like that. Uh, my other layouts and stuff come after that. So I, I like that because I'm going to be keeping these, my memory keeping books, I'm going to be keeping together um, on my shelf. And so if I pull those out and look at them, then I'll be able to see like my gratitude pages. It won't be in my planner anymore, which I haven't decided if I'm going to chuck this or not at the end of the month. I used to just take out my old planner pages and throw them away, but now these are kind of pretty and I'm, I'm not sure if I want to do that. So I may start actually keeping these. Um, we'll see. And then if I ever, if I never pull them out and look at them again, I'll just, I'll just chuck them. Um, but I'm really enjoying using this system and I feel so much better now, like I said, about actually using the Dory booklet. Um, I don't feel that I'm wasting it like I used to do. So there you go, a quick run through of how I'm making the most out of my um, Coco Daisy standard Daisy Dory. If you have any questions or comments for me, uh, leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer them as soon as I can. Bye everybody.